to accounting for law students. In this chapter, we are going to learn how to answer an accounting equation exam question. We will learn about T accounts and about debits and credits. The accounting equation. Let's look at an example of an exam question. Remember, the accounting equation has been asked in exams for up to 20%. It is a very important section and you need to understand it well. Here is an example of an exam question. On the left hand side we can see that the numbers indicate the date of a transaction. The writing in bold will give us information as to the date and as to the name of the entity. Underneath each exam question, you will find the heading required. Required will tell you exactly what you need to do. It will also give you an example so that you understand how to lay out your answer. We can see the example says paid telephone cash, 1,200 Rand. We can see that we have got five columns, all which need to be filled in. We have account debited, account credited, assets, equity and liabilities. Underneath the account to be debited and the account to be credited columns, you will only write words. Underneath the assets, equity and liabilities columns, you will only write numbers. Remember that in front of each number, you need to use a plus or a minus to indicate an increase or a decrease. Remember, for every transaction, there must always be at least two entries. Let's try a question. B. Buerta, the owner, deposited 120000 as capital contribution into the bank account of the entity. Let's look for our key words. We can see that owner and bank will be our two key words. These key words will help us to identify which accounts we will be working with. The word owner and capital contribution tells us that the owner is contributing money into his company. Capital contribution is a type of equity account. If we look at our account in Golden Rule, we can see that equity will increase on the credit side. Therefore, our account to be credited will be capital contribution. Remember, we just said that capital contribution affects equity. Therefore, our equity will increase by 120,000. Let's look at our next keyword, bank. Bank is an asset. When the owner puts money into the company, our bank will increase. If we look at our account in Golden Rule, we can see that assets increase on the debit side. Therefore, the account to be debited will be called bank. Because bank is an asset and because it is increasing, we will now go to the asset column and increase it by 120,000. Let's test this out by looking at the accounting equation. Assets equal equity plus liabilities. 120,000 is equal to 120,000 plus nothing. Therefore, our accounts balance. Let's try another one. Bought goods from Moonshine Traders for 2,400 cash. Let's find our keywords. Goods and cash. Let's look at our first keyword, goods. Goods will fall under the heading purchase. Remember, a purchase is an expense. Purchases are bad for my business. They affect our equity. If we look at the accounts in Golden Rule, we can see that equity decreases on the debit side. Therefore, the account to be debited will be called purchases. We have already determined that purchases is a type of equity account. We have also determined that it is decreasing. Therefore, we will go to the equity column and we will decrease it by 2,400. Let's look at our next keyword, cash. When we buy goods, 
money is taken out of our bank. This means that our bank will be decreasing. Bank is an asset. If we look at our accounting golden rule, we can see that assets decrease on the credit side. Therefore, our account to be credited will be called bank. We have already determined that bank is an asset and that it will be decreasing. So therefore we will go to the asset column and decrease it by 2400. Let's try the next one. The entity purchased stock on credit from Otto Empire for 13,000 Rand. Let's find our keywords. Purchased stock and credit. Let's look at our first keyword. We've purchased stock. We know that whenever we buy stock, merchandise, inventory or goods, it will be classified as a purchase. A purchase is an expense. Expenses are bad for my business and they affect my equity by decreasing it. If we look at the accounting golden rule, we can see that equity will decrease on the debit side. Therefore, the account to be debited will be purchases. We have already determined that purchases is a type of equity account and that it will be decreasing. Therefore, we will go to the equity column and decrease it by 13,000 Rand. Let's look at our next keyword, credit. When we purchase stock on credit, we are buying from our creditors. These are people that we owe money to. Therefore, our account will be called creditors control. Creditors control is a type of liability account. This is because we owe money. If we look at the accounting golden rule, we can see that our liabilities will increase on the credit side. This is because we owe more money. Therefore, the account to be credited will be called creditors control. We will go to our liabilities column and we will increase it by 13,000. By now you should see a pattern. For every debit, there must be an equal credit. And for every credit, there must be an equal debit. Remember, when answering questions, you should always read the question as if you are the company. Let's try another one. We sold merchandise for 4,500 Rand cash. Let's look for our keywords, sold and cash. Let's work with the first keyword, sold. When we sell something, we are making a sale. This is a form of income. Income affects our equity. It is good for our business to make a sale. Therefore, our equity will increase. If we look at the accounting golden rule, we can see that equity increases on the credit side. Therefore, the account to be credited will be called sale. Sale affects our equity by increasing it. So we will go to our equity column and increase it by 4,500 Rand. Let's go back to our next keyword, cash. When we sell things, we earn money. This money goes into our bank. Bank is an asset. And when we earn money, our bank will increase. If we look at our accounting golden rule, we can see that assets increase on the debit side. Therefore, the account to be debited will be called bank. Bank is an asset and it is increasing. So we will go to the asset column and increase it by 4,500. Let's try another one. Sold goods on credit to M. Mason for 2,400 Rand. Let's look for our keywords, sold and credit. Let's work with the first keyword, sold. When we make a sale, we are earning an income. Income affects our equity. It is good for our business and it will increase our equity. If we look at the accounting golden rule, 
we can see that equity increases on the credit side. Therefore, our account to be credited will be called sale. We have already established that sales affect equity by increasing it. Therefore, we will go to the equity column and increase it by 2400. Let's look at our next keyword, credit. When we sell goods on credit to someone, it means that person owes us money. That person, our customer, who owes us money will be called a debtor. Therefore, our account will be called debtor's control because debtors are people who owe us money. Debtor's control is an asset. The more money people owe us, the more our assets increase. If we look at the account in golden rule, we can see that assets increase on the debit side. Therefore, the account to be debited will be called debtor's control and specifically M. Mason as he is our debtor. Let's now go to the asset column and increase it by 2400. Let's try another one. Bought stationary cash from W stationers for 1500 Rand. Let's look for our keywords. Bought stationary and cash. Let's work with our first keyword, bought stationary. When we buy things, these are expenses. Remember, when we buy stock, inventory, merchandise or goods, we will classify it as a purchase. However, in this question, we are buying stationery. And stationery is not stock, inventory, merchandise or goods. Therefore, we will call the account stationery. It will remain an expense and it will still affect our equity by decreasing it. This is because expenses are bad for my business. Remember, stationery is not classified as a purchase. Don't get caught out. If we look at the account in golden rule, we can see that equity decreases on the debit side. Therefore, the account to be debited will be called stationery. We have just determined that stationery is an equity account and purchasing it will decrease our equity. Therefore, we will go to the equity column and decrease it by 1,500 Rand. Let's look at our next keyword, cash. When we purchase something, we are spending money. That money leaves our bank. This means the bank will decrease. Bank is an asset. If we look at the accounts in golden rule, we can see that assets decrease on the credit side. Therefore, the account to be credited will be called bank. We have already determined that bank is an asset and that it is decreasing. Therefore, we will go to the assets column and decrease it by 1,500 Rand. 